Hello and welcome to a Kerbal Space Program video. In this video I'll be showing you some jets that I've made. This is the Fire Dragon. It's a, a twin engine rocket launching aircraft. As you can see here it's just taking off. It's got a relatively long takeoff roll because obviously those solid rocket boosters that I'm using as rockets are quite heavy. So retractable landing gear, thrust vectoring, incredibly high top speed. We've got a top speed of over a thousand meters per second, but obviously our uh, maneuverability suffers then, because if you try and pull any G it tears itself to pieces. Has a similar profile to a Eurofighter Typhoon, apart from the tails, so the main difference. Got a lovely cockpit view where Valentina Kerman can pilot our wondrous craft from. Gonna use this island as the target. There we are, our ordnance is away. And we have hit our target, which is very good. This aircraft has canards because it has a delta wing for the similar reasons as the Eurofighter Typhoon does. Gives it extra maneuverability. Now I'm just going to take it up to a top speed. Now I accelerate until I start to see um, durability issues on parts. Now the things you can see hanging from underneath, they are the drop tanks, which just give us a bit of extra fuel. Now we actually managed to go so fast that we encounter heating issues. I think I just sped it up here. Or around here, maybe soon. I don't know. But I sped it up because um, it takes a while to get to top speed, but obviously I just noticed uh, some heating issues, so I cut the power to start slowing down the aircraft. Now our drop tanks are empty, so punch them off. They actually usually come up behind me and above, so it's just something to be aware of. Now coming to land, it has a very narrow landing gear, but it does have a drogue chute, so despite rather ineffective brakes, it can uh, slow itself down on the runway. It's quite easy to fly. The only thing you have to be aware of is on takeoff, if you pull up too sharply, you'll hit the uh, rockets on the tarmac. Neat little flare there, bit of a bounce. Once we have all three on the ground, deploy the parachute and we come to a very rapid stop. Just going to shut down the engines once we've come to a stop. And then we are ready to uh, carry on. There we are. So now I'm going to show you what else we have in forms of the aircraft that this developed from. But first I'm going to show you what can go wrong if you don't know how to fly the aircraft very well. Now, this is a mishap on takeoff where it just started yawing to the left and when I tried to correct uh, it rolled and then one of the rockets exploded and then I aborted the takeoff too late and ended up as a heap of parts at the end of the runway. Now the next demonstration will be what happens if you try and pull G at too high a speed. The aircraft uh, disintegrates, so to speak. It's not very good. Parts go everywhere. Everyone dies. It's bad. And there are no safety systems on this aircraft, so once uh, she splashes down, she's dead. Okay, now you're going to see the aircraft that the Fire Dragon was developed from. This is the Firefly. Originally it was a rocket aircraft, and eventually it became a hybrid aircraft. Uh, it never actually became a solely jet aircraft, I believe, but I did turn off the rocket engine in flight a number of times. 
this is quite a maneuver, well, relatively maneuverable craft. This is before, uh, in the later marks of the Firefly, it got canards to assist with the poor uh, pitch performance and uh, elevator authority, because it doesn't really turn very much. Uh, the main issue with this craft was that there was absolutely no brakes. Well, there were brakes, they were just crap, so I've accelerated it in a uh, time here. And I am breaking all the way off the end of the runway, and I believe it slows down around now. When it finally comes to a stop, the footage slows down now, yeah, and the brakes finally did their job. So, now I will show you the next craft. Which is a rocket assisted takeoff, it's got a not very good engine, I can't remember which mark of Firefly this is, but uh, this is the first one that I tried putting ordnance on. As you can see, there are rockets there, liquid rockets, and uh, as you'll see, they don't work too well. They have no guidance, so they just spiral out of control. Now this is a very rocket assisted takeoff. It's got solid rocket boosters on pilots above the wing, in a similar way to the Jaguar and the, I believe, the Lightning could put things above their wings. Now we just use these to get off the ground because those solid rocket pieces are very heavy. But as you see now it has canards and I have fitted some safety systems to this aircraft. So once the solid rocket boosters above the wing run out, they will get jettisoned. They will hit each other, but it doesn't matter, they're not reusable. And this will demonstrate the safety systems we have. Uh, the aircraft is in a stall here and it's falling out of the sky. And it has a pair of monopropellant engines that blast the cockpit section away from the rest of the aircraft in a similar way to the F-111 Aardvark. And that's the first demonstration of the rockets working. Now they're tracking straight and true, falling a little bit below the aircraft. And this is me discovering what um, aerodynamic forces do to the aircraft pull up when you're going too fast. And again, this is going to show very well uh, how the monopropellant engines get the cockpit section away from what's left attached to it. There's not much left attached to it. Bit's about to blast off. There we are. Now it came clean away and the parachute deployed, so that's excellent. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, pilot error is a major issue. It's a bit of, it was a bit rocking here, so I lost one of the fins on the rocket, and then when I went to look, I lost the rocket, and then I rolled, and then everyone died. So, even if you think it's a good aircraft, it can crash. So that's all from me. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Goodbye.